the LSAT is the third light machine gun that you unlock in Black Ops 2. I'm not sure at what level, but I think it's around sort of 20, somewhere in that uh, region. It is perhaps the most average <laughs> light machine gun there is, having an average fire rate, damage, and range. And it also has, you know, it has a fair amount of recoil, but not the most, and also not the least of the light machine guns. It works well in almost all situations, although it isn't the best at all of those situations. It is still a light machine gun, so it'll have slower handling characteristics. So you'll be moving slower, the aim gun sight time is much slower, and also the bringing up the rifle from, from gun, I should say, from uh, running is also going to be much slower. So you're better off having a position and defending that position than being aggressive and running at the enemies. Full metal jacket increases the penetration of the LSAT and also increases the damage against score streaks. I found that a high fire rate of the LSAT meant that it is very well suited to taking out enemy air support, but uh, overall the full metal jacket attachment doesn't offer that many benefits since it's either easy to shoot through cover anyway or impossible, so either way FMJ doesn't really offer any benefits. The quick draw handle is usually not very well suited to light machine guns since you should be set up behind some cover and waiting for the enemies and uh, the quick draw isn't really necessary for that so and that's the same for the LSAT a nice addition but not really worth the one out of ten points that you get to spend in your creator class the stock attachment only benefits if you're moving and shooting at the same time and that is not usually the case with the LSAT although it is nice if you can sort of go left and right behind the cover and do it a bit quicker which makes it harder for you to be shot but again, it's not worth the 1 out of 10 points. There are better attachments and better ways to spend your points than using the stock attachment. The laser sight attachment reduces the hip fire spread of the LSAT. I found that if you're prone, you could easily shoot people across the map without even bothering to aim. And that's, that's pretty powerful to say the least. And also when you are in a close quarters engagement, it is very good to have too since uh, you're going to win more of those if you just hip fire. But both cases are very unique and don't tend to occur too often. So the laser sight is a nice addition, but again not really worth it. The suppressor attachment negates the muzzle flash and also means that you don't show up on a minimap whilst firing. The muzzle flash is actually the most benefit that you get out of the suppressor since if um, you're at long range and someone sees muzzle flash, they can easily shoot at you. But the benefit isn't that great since most of the time when you are firing at someone they're not going to have a chance to fire back. The extended clip is well suited to the LSAT since it has a fairly high fire rate as it increases the amount of bullets that you have per reload. But the extended clip doesn't really offer that much extra, it's only 35 bullets and you have 100 standard. And that would mean maybe one or two more kills and that's not really worth the attachment slot. Rapid fire increases the fire rate of the LSAT, but it also increases the recoil that you're going to have to deal with. It means that the rifle is much more suited to close quarter combat, but the problem with that is that submachine guns and assault rifles will beat you at that range regardless of that you are better at it. So it's not really worth giving up your long range capabilities to be a little bit better at close range. Because the LSAT is an all-around good weapon, there's no real attachment that is going to make a big difference, except for the foregrip, which will mean that at every single range you will have less recoil and thus be more effective. Any other attachment would mean that you specialize the LSAT and then you give up the good part of the LSAT, which is that it is very versatile in what it can do. The LSAT has a full range of uh, optical attachments. I feel that almost every single one is quite worth the attachment. And it, which one you go for really depends on your preferences. But as usual, the zoom attachment is okay if you use the foregrip with the um, zoom attachment, but other than that, the recoil is still very high. And also the dual band scope has a similar problem where at the current range you said it is good at, the L side isn't very good. Now I usually don't like the ED tech side, it takes up too much of the screen, there's lots of stuff going on, I rather like the simplicity of the reflex side, in fact that's the one I'm going to recommend. But if you find that you're having difficulties getting people at the longer ranges, 
the ACOG scope is certainly a good attachment and the target finder is also quite good. Although the target finder does take up quite a bit of your screen and if you are a little bit more aggressive that means they don't have much peripheral vision and that does hinder your performance. The hybrid optic is actually not a bad attachment for the L set at all because you know it is good at sort of medium range where the smaller scope of the hybrid optic is good and it also is quite powerful at longer ranges where the sort of ACOG part of the hybrid optic is also quite good. But I find that the reflex sight is equally good at long range as the ACOG part of the hybrid optic so I wouldn't recommend going for that either. Because you are going to be more stationary and more sort of passive and holding down the position you're going to have to use perks that assist you in holding down the positions. Flak jacket and tactical mask are going to be very powerful because enemies then can't get you with explosives as easily and also can't disable you with using tactical grenades. Toughness is the other perk that I recommend using because if you get shot you're going to flinch a lot and that will cause you to lose the targets and especially at long range that can be very damaging to you. The lethal equipment I recommend is the grenade because it is more a long range item and it is going to help you defend objectives quite effectively. Concussion grenades are very good because if you throw them enemies are going to be slowed down and thus easier to shoot. A secondary is also quite important whilst you're using the L set because the long reload times mean that if you get caught without any bullets in your magazine you're going to die pretty horribly unless you can switch to a pistol and take out enemies that way. So, there you go, that's the class that I recommend for the OSAT. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time.